You guys, I have finally done it. I have officially had a video break 1 million views. It is absolutely surreal to say that and think about that number. A million views, like a million views. A million people have watched this video or you know, maybe less than that, maybe 500,000 people have watched it twice. Either way, that is a lot of views and I am just speechless. So today I thought it would be really cool to share the analytics on this video, share how much I've made from this video over the last year since I've posted it. And then I also wanted to share a few tips for my fellow YouTube creators out there. If you're trying to have a video pop off, go viral. I'll share a few of my tips and some things that I've learned over this last year, year and a half being a YouTuber and having a video go viral on this platform. So let's talk about it. So if you're new here, let me just start off by giving you a little bit of background on this video. So I started my YouTube channel back in in January of 2023. So it's been about a year and a half that I've had my YouTube channel. At that time, I was dabbling in all sorts of different topics, niches, styles of videos, etc. because I just wasn't 100% sure, you know, what I really wanted my channel to be about. I also, at this time, because I was laid off, I was dabbling with different, you know, side hustles and income streams and trying to, you know, find some different ideas and things that worked for me and in this period of life for me. And I decided to make a video on that topic because I was like, well, I'm trying all these different side hustles. I might as well make a video about it and explore some other side hustle ideas as well while I'm making this video. I was not expecting this video to go viral. I thought it was a really strong video idea for sure, but I was not expecting it to go viral. So anyways, that's what led to me creating this video. And here I am a little bit over a year later and it has finally hit that 1 million view mark. So I don't know, it, this video is still getting views you guys and the sky's the limit really. So I have no idea like where this is gonna cap off, but let's head over to my YouTube creator studio and look at the analytics. All right, so here I am in my YouTube creator studio. Obviously, this is the video that I'm talking about, my 10 easy side hustle ideas I'm trying after being laid off and how much money you can make from each of these side hustles. So I will say one thing that I think I did really well in this video is I very clearly laid out a few different things. I wasn't just like, here are 10 easy side hustle ideas. I gave them a star rating as far as how easy I thought they were to get started and also what the potential upside is because some side hustles out there might be you know, a little bit easier to get started but there's not very much upside and then vice versa it might take a little bit more effort to start some other side hustles and I very clearly laid out like steps you need to take in order to get started how I perceive the side hustles to be easy or difficult and what I perceive the potential you know upside to be so I think because I very clearly laid it out in that format that was really helpful for people to grasp onto and get really into the video. So like I mentioned this video has 1 million views it actually has 1 million 1,697 views since it was published. So that is pretty crazy. And like I said, real time, you can see over here that I am continuing to get views the last 48 hours, about 3,000 views. So that means I'm getting about 1,500 views per day. I posted this video on May 16th of 2023. So it has been a little bit over a year, about a year and a month because I am recording this on June 12th of 2024. And so that's how long it took me for my first viral video to break a million views. This video alone has gained me almost a hundred thousand watch hours which is an absolutely mind-blowing number to think about a hundred thousand hours i just did some quick math divided by 24 hours is 4166 days and I'm gonna divide that by 365. That's like 11.4 years. Does anybody else think that that is kind of crazy? It has gained me over 13,000 YouTube subscribers, which I will also say that this comes with some pros and cons. I've talked about this in some other videos where I share about going viral, what it's actually like, and some of the pros and cons because gaining 13,000 subscribers from one single video is amazing, don't get me wrong, but that also means that of my right now total is around 18,000 almost 13,000 of those people really care specifically about this topic, this niche. They want mostly like financial wellness, income ideas, knowing how much money you can make from certain things. And that's just not what my entire channel is about. My entire channel is a little bit more lifestyle, wellness, financial wellness. And I do include these you know types of videos but that's just not the entirety of my channel so i've kind of had some growing pains where if i post about maybe my pregnancy or just kind of like days in my lifestyle videos they may not perform as well because they're not as tailored to the majority of what my current audience is so i will say this is one kind of downside to a video popping off and going viral but on the other hand you know it has helped me grow really fast and ultimately has helped me make decent money from youtube in general now 
that being said drum roll please my grand total for this video that has paid me since publishing is sixteen thousand five hundred fifty five dollars and forty three cents that is a lot of money if only i could have every single video be making me this much <laughs> That's the dream, right? I'm just gonna click over to the revenue tab really quick just to show you guys kind of the CPM and RPM because this video does have a really high CPM. So if you're unfamiliar, CPM is cost per milli, which is basically what advertisers are willing to pay per 1,000 views on your video. So this basically means if it is a $10 CPM, they're willing to pay $10 every time your video gets a 1,000 views for their ads on your videos. YouTube actually takes 45% of the cut so that means in theory, if the CPM is $10 per thousand views, then you should be making $5.50 per thousand views on your video. So hopefully that makes sense. But the CPM on this video as of right now is $43.08. And again, that is incredibly high. I think anecdotally, a lot of YouTubers make anywhere from like $10 to $20 CPM, at least in the US per video. And from my own experience, like yeah, that $10 to $20 CPM range is a lot more common. So the fact that I have such a high CPM is contributing a lot to the fact that this video has made so much. And then a few other just fun little tidbits. This video has 11.3 million impressions. My click-through rate is 6.2%. It has primarily been found through search, which is one thing that is interesting. You know, that means people are searching for things like how to make money, side hustles, that type of thing. And they're finding this video pop up and then they're clicking on it. So that means that people are searching for this topic and are finding my video that way and then like coming in and subscribing through that. Okay, so those are all of my analytics for that video. Hopefully you guys find that interesting. I always think it's really inspiring and interesting to hear what people are making from different videos, what their CPM, RPM is, impressions, how people are finding their videos and all of that. So anyways, hopefully you guys found that interesting. But now I wanted to share five learnings, lessons, tips, things that I think helped me have this video go viral. And if you're trying to either have a video go viral because who doesn't want that? Or maybe you're a newer YouTuber and you're just trying to break that 4,000 watch hour requirement then maybe these tips will help you out to have a video or more of your videos start to gain more momentum, gain more views, and maybe even have one pop off and go viral. So the first tip I have is to try different styles of videos in different niches. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I was new to my YouTube channel. I was trying out different things and just kind of randomly decided to make this video because it was something that I was personally dealing with, going through, experiencing. If I hadn't gone out on a limb to create a video of this style of this niche, then obviously I never would have had a video pop off, go viral, help me gain the momentum that I needed to get monetized and now have been monetized for a little bit over a year. Of course, if you are trying to be like super, super lifestyle, lifestyle vlogging, that type of thing, like I wouldn't go and make a video about side hustles like how I did, but maybe you have a trip coming up. A lot of times travel vlogs can gain momentum and gain popularity because people are looking for the hotel or the resort or things to do in that city. So basically my point is don't be afraid to experiment because you never know kind of what video topic style idea might gain momentum pop off etc my next tip is to provide real value so again this might be a little bit more challenging if you're in a true lifestyle vlog niche because it's not like you're making videos about 10 ideas for making money or anything like that but your videos are providing value in the sense that they're entertaining people. The idea behind having a lifestyle channel, making lifestyle vlogs is to entertain people. You want people to come to your channel, watch your videos, and maybe feel relaxed or feel inspired or feel motivated or productive or something along those lines. So you're always trying to provide value to your viewers in some way. So I always try to use that lens whenever I'm making any sort of video that I'm creating. Maybe it's not so much like ideas for this or ideas for that, but maybe it's I hope that by showing you guys a productive work day in my life that I am motivating you to have a productive work day as well and I always like actually say that in my videos because I want people to feel you know motivated or productive or whatever if that's what I'm trying to accomplish with my video and with my side hustles video I was not just simply like okay here are 10 side hustle ideas boom 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 there they are there's the list go for it I really dove deep into again here's how much you could potentially make from each side hustle here's how to actually get Get started doing it i walked through like how do you sign up on rover showed people like actually how to do it so that they could see it's actually not that hard it doesn't take that much work to get started and i think that that really helped people find it even more valuable than it could have been my third tip is to be honest and be real i use this for again all of my videos not just my super high value 10 ideas type of videos i wasn't trying to sell anything in that video i was genuinely just trying to provide ideas for people provide insight provide inspiration 
information or just any like resources essentially for people and I was honest I was like doing rover is fun and easy for me because I like dogs but it may not be for everyone and I'm only making maybe like 300 to 500 dollars by doing it so I was just very very open and honest about how much I was making doing those side hustles and just like how realistic they were for me or for anybody else and kind of like things to consider for them. And with my vlogs, I like to do this as well. I like to open up, be vulnerable, tell people what I'm dealing with, with my pregnancy, symptoms I'm going through, just things like that. And I just always like to keep it 100, keep it honest, keep it real. My fourth tip is to look at what's trending and relevant. So this can be like the topics of your videos, your thumbnails, your titles, etc. I do think that part of the reason this video did so well for me is because so many people were going through tech layoffs last year and even into this year and they're looking for other ways to make money. So I think it was just really, really relevant, good timing for what's been going on with the economy lately. But not only that, I like to think about when I'm creating not just my video topics, but my thumbnails, my titles, what do I see other youtubers putting on their thumbnails that make me want to click on it or what am I reading in a title that makes me want to click on it am I more likely to click on a title that is short and sweet am I more likely to click on a title that's all capped just think about all of these different things about what makes you actually want to click on a thumbnail on a title a video topic etc and I think that that will help inform like what styles and types of videos that you could also make that would gain you momentum potentially go viral or at least just get you more watch hours and my fifth tip for you guys is to be engaging the reality is that I don't think any of my top videos on my channel have a view duration of less than probably like five minutes which means people are staying on my video long enough for I think the YouTube algorithm to say like okay this is a good video people are staying on it for a long time and then it's therefore like pushing it out to more people and it becomes a snowball effect right so I think that that's a big reason why this video has kind of popped off I think it has like a almost six minute view duration which is pretty long from at least my channel I hope to of course get that up across the board but that's just something to think about is think about how you're engaging people how you're keeping their attention on your video to have a longer view duration and then hopefully therefore YouTube pushes it out to more people and more people click on it etc some things I like to do I talked about this in some other videos in order to keep my audience engaged is by changing up angles of things that I'm recording especially during vlogs be good at storytelling be straightforward straight to the point I try not to ramble on these super high value information loaded videos and you know this is a visual platform so make sure you're visually engaging your background looks nice I try to keep my background nice so that people think it's like more aesthetic more visually pleasing and that type of thing so just anything you can do to keep your audience engaged and try and have them on your videos longer well that's it you guys I just wanted to quickly go through my analytics for my biggest video ever my viral video that has a million views I hope you guys found that interesting and useful as well as share just a couple tips with you guys some things I've learned and what I think has helped that video go viral as well as helped my channel grow in general so hopefully you guys found those tips useful and that is everything I wanted to share with you today so I hope you enjoyed this video and I I will catch up with you next time.